Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today video is about Lobo the Wolf. People call him Lobo the King. Lobo was a North American gray wolf who lived in the Corumpa Valley in New Mexico. During the 1890s, Lobo and his pack, having been deprived of their natural prey such as bison, elk, and pronghorn by settlers, became forced to prey on the settlers' livestock to survive. The ranchers tried to kill Lobo and his pack by poisoning animal carcasses, but the wolves removed the poison pieces and threw them aside, eating the rest. They tried to kill the wolves with traps and by hunting parties but these efforts also failed. Ernest Thompson Seton was tempted by the challenge and the $1,000 bounty for the head of Lobo, the leader of the pack. Seton tried poisoning five baits, carefully covering traces of human scent and setting them out in Lobo's territory. The following day all the baits were gone, and Seton assumed Lobo would be dead. Later, however, he found the five baits all in a pile covered by wolf feces to show Lobo's contempt and mockery of Seton's attempt to kill him and the other wolves. Seton bought new, specialized traps and carefully concealed them in Lobo's territory, but he later found Lobo's tracks leading from trap to trap, exposing each. When an effort that was initially supposed to take two weeks stretched into four months of failed attempts to capture Lobo, Seton became tired and frustrated. While camping out above the creek where snow geese and cranes were wintering, he found Lobo's tracks strangely following a set of smaller tracks. Quickly he realized Lobo's weakness, his mate, a white wolf nicknamed Blanca. Seton then set out several traps in a narrow passage thinking Blanca would fall for Seton's planted baits that Lobo had thus far managed to avoid. Finally Seton succeeded. Blanca, while trying to investigate Seton's planted cattle head, became trapped. When Seton found her, she was whining with Lobo by her side. Lobo ran to a safe distance and watched as Seton and his partner killed Blanca and tied her to their horses. Seton heard the howls of Lobo for two days afterward. Lobo's calls were described by Seton as having an unmistakable note of sorrow in it. It was no longer the loud, defiant howl, but a long, plaintive wail. Although Seton felt remorse for the grieving wolf, he decided to continue his plan to capture Lobo. Despite the danger, Lobo followed Blanca's scent to Seton's ranch house where they had taken the body. After spotting Lobo wandering near his ranch house, Seton set more traps, using Blanca's body to scent them. Prior to this point, Lobo hasn't revealed himself to Seton even once since he arrived at the Corumpa Valley. But now Lobo's grief has clearly taken over him and dulled his sense of caution. He was now at his most vulnerable, which Seton was well aware of. On January 31, 1894, Lobo was caught, with each of his four legs clutched in a trap. On Seton's approach, Lobo stood despite his injuries, and howled. Touched by Lobo's bravery and loyalty to his mate, Seton could not kill him. He and his men roped Lobo, muzzled him and secured him to a horse, taking him back to the ranch. Lobo refused to eat or even look at his captors. They secured him with a chain and he just gazed across his fallen kingdom. Lobo died that night. Four hours later, due to a broken heart. If you like the video, hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on bell notification so you don't miss any of my amazing video.